This is 7.46 p.m. on Thursday, uh, July the 24th, and <clears throat> it's about five minutes after low tide here in Yarmouth, Nova Scotia. And the thing that's just amazing is how much this water has dropped. It's about 14, a little over 14 feet, maybe not quite 14 and a half. And uh, as you can see, there is just a lot of water that's proceeded from this estuary. Now, <clears throat> the thing that's uh, sort of intriguing is that we are adjacent to the Bay of Fundy, which has some of the most significant tides in the world. I think those are almost 30 feet when you get down to the northernmost end of that uh, bay. But here we've got about uh, 14 feet and you can see where basically the land has stopped or the water has receded and exposed the land that essentially is now connecting to this little island off over here. There's the sailboat that we followed in <clears throat> from uh, Port Latour during the day today. So it's a, just kind of an amazing sight to recognize just how significant a tidal swing there is here. And of course, that's QE2, and that's the drop that we have. And we've got to walk down that plank. Uh, so hopefully we can make it without too much difficulty. This is just a little past uh, high or low tide here in Yarmouth. And uh, you can kind of see the impact of what a uh, low tide means for this community. And there is the uh, resultant drop in the area and how the boats basically fall down along with it. On the other side, that's the fuel dock that we uh, refueled this morning. And um, he had to hand down the, the line to us to pump out or to pump the uh, diesel, but it wasn't a drop like that. And Ultimately, here lies QE2, secure and ready for the evening. And then off uh, in the distance is that cat ferry that uh, we saw came come in earlier. 